And he went up to the city of London to seek his fortune. When all the way up and down the streets of the city, picking pockets. Doing very nice indeed he was too, until one day he felt a hand into his own back pocket. And he turned around, there's a beautiful girl standing behind him, he said. Oh, <laughs> are you a pickpocket too? She said. Yes. He said, why, he says, you and me should team up what a team we'd make. And so they did. Catherine's Dock, Portobello Lane, Petticoat Lane, Camden Lock. All the places where the suckers go, they were making money, hand over fist. One day he said to her, darling, you and me should get married. Because if we ever had a child, he or she would be the greatest pickpocket in the world. And so they were married. And in the course of time, they had a beautiful little baby, a little baby boy is the chance to be. 
But in the moment of his birth, they could see that his right hand, his pickpocketing hand, was all scrunched up against his chest. Nothing could shift it at all. It seemed to be in some sort of permanent spasm. He said, darling, look at his hand. He'll never be the greatest pickpocket in the world now. She said, don't worry, dear. We are very rich. We can afford the finest doctors. One of them is sure to be able to cure our baby. So they went away to Harley Street. Where the most expensive physicians are to be found. And in the most expensive corner of the street, Away at the far end, they found the most expensive of the bunch. A specialist in wee scrunched up hands. He was that expensive. He used to keep a big golden watch at the time of the visits of his patients to the last second. So when the mummy walked in and the daddy walked in, carrying the wee baby with the wee scrunched up hand, the doctor pulled out his big golden watch, clicked it open on the table, and the wee baby's eyes riveted on the watch. <laughs> and his wee hand moved for the first time, reaching for it. And his wee fingers opened for the first time to take it, and out fell the midwife's gold wedding ring. Anymore, surely. Oh. Oh. I only came back to get the instruments, you know. <laughs> oh, well, I'll do something long and depressing. <laughs> company all the harm I've ever done alas it was to none but me and all I've done through want of wit to memory now I shan't recall to me the parting glass good night and joy be with you Good night. Oh. 